Canada, cervical cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer in women between ages 15 and 44. About 70% of cervical cancer are from HPV infections and it is the most common sexually transmitted infection in Canada. 1 in 150 women is expected to develop cervical cancer during her lifetime and 1 in 423 women will die from it. The cervix is the part of the women's reproductive system and it is the narrow lower part of the uterus which connects the uterus to the vagina. Cervical cancer originates in the cells of the cervix. An abnormal change of these cells can develop into cancer. Most women will not have symptoms, which emphasize the importance of early screening to detect abnormal changes. The pap test. So why is it important? The pap test is the most effective method to detect cancerous changes in the cells of the cervix. It is important for all sexually active women to have regular pap tests starting at the age of 21 and every two to three years, even after receiving the HPV vaccine. Health Canada recommends everyone between 9 to 26 years old to get the HPV vaccine. The vaccine is most effective when given to both men and women before they become sexually active, but those who are sexually active can still receive it. The combination of the pap test and vaccine is an integral part of the prevention and screening strategies against cervical cancer. Health Canada has authorized two vaccines to prevent the most common types of HPV, Gardasil for females and males and Cervix for females only. Both vaccines are effective in preventing the changes in the cells of the cervix related to certain types of HPV infections. Visit the Public Health Agency in Canada website for more information about the vaccines. Other considerations for preventing cervical cancer. Women should practice safe sex using a condom during sexual intercourse, which will help reduce the risk of being infected with STI and HPV. Other recommendations are to limit or avoid having multiple sexual partners, abstain from sexual activity, and delay becoming sexually active at a young age. So what is stopping you from getting your first pap test? Many women may not seek cerebral cancer screening in the belief of it being scary and painful. It is also embarrassing to be in a lying position in front of the doctor for the examination. This is a common shared feeling and it can influence women to not be screened at. But don't worry, the doctor is very professional. The procedure is explained step by step prior to the examination. The doctor will also address any concerns and discomfort you may experience. The female's private area is only exposed when needed. If you are uncomfortable being alone, you may bring a friend or request a female to be present. Many cultural beliefs may stop you from getting your screening services. Some women believe that cerebral cancer is incurable and death appears unavoidable even with early detection. In fact, this is not true. Pap tests can reduce cervical cancer mortality by about 70% when combined with treatment. Having positive attitudes, healthy diet, and lifestyle may not be enough to protect you from cervical cancer. A pap test is an important part of taking good care of your health. This test is necessary for all women until the age of 69, even if you are menopausal, asymptomatic, not sexually active, not having multiple sexual partners, abortion, or a family history of cancer. You may find that sexuality is a very sensitive topic and it should not be discussed with anyone. It is also common that some women may feel worried and ashamed if they have an abnormal pap result. If you have an abnormal pap test, don't worry, it doesn't mean you have cervical cancer. It just means that some cells have changed and you need to be retested. Don't speak the language and not sure where to get this test done? No worries, this list of programs provide health services to women from different ethnic groups. They provide patient support, outreach services, health education, translated information, and cervical cancer screening. Did you know that British Columbia, Canada has a screening program for cervical cancer? The Cervical Cancer Screening Program is from BC Cancer Agency for the early detection of cervical cancer. It promotes regular pap tests for women. The program has successfully reduced the incidence of cervical cancer in BC by more than 70%. BC Cancer Agency has teamed up with Hello Pool World to create the LACE campaign, Live Aware, Create Empowerment. LACE is a grassroots campaign and a social media movement that started in spring 2009 to promote pap testing. The campaign involved young women in spreading the message that pap talk is a good thing and getting your pap test is an empowering thing to do. You can get involved by joining their mail list, joining their Facebook page, or even following them on Twitter. You can also volunteer your time for PAP Awareness Week, which usually happens around the last week of October every year. 
visit their website to learn more about the LACE campaign. Mass immunizations and screening programs have been highly successful in disease prevention and reduction of mortality rates from communicable infections. However, as any public intervention, mass immunization and screening programs spark an ethical debate about personal harm versus public benefit. Despite being a successful screening tool for the diagnosis of cervical cancer, many women describe pap tests as an invasive and personal procedure. They report high levels of anxiety, fear, and distress prior and during the test. The results of the test take several weeks to be completed, which is another emotional burden for the women to suffer. Negative media coverage and unanswered questions about the safety of the HPV vaccine has led to the implementation of funded immunization programs for HPV in Canada. It has been presented as a right of individual rather than a public process. Despite this direction, HPV vaccine remains a controversial political and public issue in Canada. Social justice groups argue that parents should consider educating their children about abstinence and the consequences of risky sexual behavior to stop the spread of HPV. Instead of framing cervical cancer campaign as a women's issue, the focus should be aimed at education and increasing awareness of sexually transmitted diseases and safe sexual behaviors among the youth. The most important thing to know is that cervical cancer is preventable. There is the pap test, HPV vaccine, and education. Ladies, you are not alone. Empower yourself and others. Protect yourself by getting a pap test today.